All right, how's it going, everybody? It's Charles Cannon here. I'm doing the uh, part of the cable building uh, repair part of the uh, the classes. And since we're unable to all get together, I'm going to do it here on video. And this is my first time making a video, so bear with me. Uh, this is going to be this first video is going to be about uh, stripping wires and mainly solder sleeves and twisted pairs. And then we have some singles as well. So, first thing you're going to do when you need to repair, if you have to cut back, say this is damaged and you need you need to cut back, so now you got a fresh twisted pair. It's going to have outer shielding, there's going to be inner shielding, and then two wires. Both of them are going to be individually shielded. So, take a extremely sharp razor blade. You don't want anything half dull, half anything like that. That way you don't have to worry about having to score real hard or push real hard because that's when you end up damaging the wires underneath and then you can get a short and then it's not going to work so your pair is basically useless. So all you're going to do is you're going to barely score this wire and you can see instantly it breaks open but that inner shielding is still good, right? So you're going to take the other side, score the other side and same thing. So now it's all the way around and you'll take and very lightly just come down and score all the way down. This takes practice. It takes time. I wish we were doing this together. We could all be doing this in class together, but we can't. So here we are. So you're going to have this. This is going to break this open nice and easy. And here you go. And you just slide that off. There goes your outer shielding. So now you have your inner braid. Inner braid, when you take this, you'll kind of feather this back, get this open, just like that. And you'll have your two wires exposed. This has an extra filament just to help keep the space, but this will just cut off. So you have your two wires. You'll bring this back, jam this up just like so. Take your, just any standard wire cutters, cut off the excess, right? So when you do this, you'll have, you have just a little bit left over, right? Cut this filament out, cut this little excess off. All right, so now you have this little extra, this little extra bit, you're gonna take this, and you're gonna fold it back, reason being is you need to inspect this wire that you just trimmed. Now, if this wire has any damaging from you with the razor blade, you need to make sure you didn't damage it because once you put the solder sleeve on and you melt the solder down, it'll melt to the wire and now the wire is shorted along with the ground. So, you're going to take this and now you're going to twist it around, make it nice and neat. And then you're going to take your solder sleeve Solder sleeves come in many different forms. Most common, you'll have, these are for twisted pair. It has a ground coming off, so you can still use your outer braiding is now, is now technically a wire or a ground. So you put this on, it all depends on the application. Most of the time it's gonna be wire end on first. You're gonna slide that on. You're going to put the red, which is the solder sleeve, inside there. It's a solder band right over your braid. All right? Now, this is where it gets fun because a lot of people are not going to be carrying heat guns with them all over the place. And some people who have bad habits will say, oh, we'll just use a lighter. No, if you use a lighter, you need to go somewhere else and not work here anymore. This takes a heat gun. Plain and simple. Heat gun. If you don't have one, get one. If you don't have one from, if you're out in the field and you don't have one, find someone who does. So this is a good example of, of a heat gun. So you'll have, this is a heat gun. It also does solder, but I don't have that hooked up right now. So this is what you'll do. You'll take this heat gun and this one automatically comes on as soon as you pull it off the stand. And it goes right to the temperature that I have it set at. And uh, I have it just set on high. It's like, I think like 480. But what you'll do 
as you'll slowly heat this down. We'll shrink this down. And you'll notice the red band is gonna disappear. And then the silver inside will spread out. And then there you go. So now, hang that back up. And it's gonna let that cool down. You see, as you'll see, I don't know if it'll focus on this. It actually melts down nice. So now you'll have three wires. And different applications will have different different parts. You'll have, you can either have a, a wired ground like this, which you could put a pin on, pin in the connector, put a pin on both of these. So now the connector is now grounded. Or you'll have ones that are like this that actually have no braid. So you'll have the solder sleeve with no uh, insulation. So it'll just be braid. And then that will go to the back shell. And a lot of times they'll have those, they'll have springs or different things that these will hook to and it'll then ground not only the component, but it'll ground anything else that goes along that path. And you don't have to worry about doing a separate ground to the, to the actual box. And same thing applies to, to these. These are your single shielded. These are actually just like a single wire, but it has it's braided just like this is. So when you go and you score it, it'll have be like this and like that. It's okay. So now that's scored. And when you take this off, and most of the time you can just grab this and you can pull this off. I don't know if this one's gonna work for me on video, but so you'll take it. Maybe score it along the, the wire. Again, this takes practice, this takes time. You, uh, if you try to do it on your first try, you'll, you might mess it up, but that's fine. And th the best part about wires is they're all replaceable. They're all fixable. There's, there's no, no reason to not get out there and just try to do it yourself because anything can be fixed. So you have here, single wire inside the braid. And there you go. It'll be the same. You'll strip this back. You'll check the check the wire for damage. And then you'll put your individual shielded braid or non-shielded braid, however you, whatever the application takes. And, okay, so I believe that right there is about as good as I can get for braiding and over braid and doing your, uh, your solder sleeves. So, any questions, let me know. Uh, if there'll be more videos to come, I'm going to show, uh, pinning, show the DMC crimpers, show the, the DMC crimp guide that actually shows you which crimpers to use per wire pin is especially well, with the well, per contact. So the pin will have color codes. You'll need to know which color code and all that stuff. I'll go into that in the next video, but thank you very much. Oh, and FSRs, if you need a t-shirt, let me know. I know somebody who makes these, and they're really nice, and they're, they're good prices. All right, thanks.